gates fly and they sent on their way. Gunsmoke began well in the yellow sleeves along the rail. Adios Amigos in the orange cap is moving forward on the outside. So too is Alado's pride. Pedro, Makachev, they all in that vanguard. Iron Tail's going off to spearhead the attack as well. So it's Iron Tail that goes past the 1100 meter marker as the leader from Pedro in second. Racing in third is Makachev. Got the white blinkers between runners and fighting with the rider. Cruzador's on its outside. Then Alado's pride. Further back in the field is Adios Amigos. That's in the orange sleeves and cap climate control San Quinton further back meet at the Windsor then came Gunsmoke further back in the field and Ubersik as the trailer as they turn for and they got 700 meters left to go and Iron Tail brought them in Makachev is down towards the outside then Pedro up the far side further back in the field there we've got Cruzador Alado's pride then Adios Amigos further back in the field now as they come down to the last 400 meters it's Pedro the leader from Iron Tail in second then came Makachev further back in the field there beyond that is Gunsmoke Ubersika still got five lengths to make up then Alado's pride but it's Pedro 200 meters from the judge the leader from Iron Tail Ubersika's now finding a finish then came Gunsmoke Pedro's in front from Iron Tail then comes Ubersika in front is Pedro Iron Tail Ubersika's flying down the center and got there Ubersika won it second Pedro then Iron Tail further back was Gunsmoke So here's your head on replay. Your winner is on the left hand side but behind two horses. It's got white blinkers, yellow cap, black sleeves. As you can see Pedro's in front. 8, 10, 13, 6 and 5. 8, 10, 13, 6 is the numbers from the judge. There's Ubersika flying home between Pedro and Iron Tail to get up and win. This for Gavin Smith. And owners Ms. S. Barner, Mr. Traven Moodley, Mr. DM, and Mrs. L. J. Johnson and Smith Super Syndicate. And nominee Dean Smith. 8, 10, 13, 6 are your numbers. Well, it's a quick double for both the Gavin Smith Racing Yard as well as Jockey Smunga Kamala as Ubisika comes through to take the first leg of the pick six. Very popular winner, and not just with the punches out there, but most definitely with his groom, Dez, who's seeing to him at the moment. And I've got Sadik joining me for the 1,500 Rand World Sports Betting check receipt. And uh, Sadik, thanks very much, and well done. Your yard's flying. Thank you. Fantastic. Smunga standing by is going to come on in and have a chat with me now. Um, he really made people wait for that. So tell me, was that part of the strategy for to suit the horse, or did you just want to make a, a real good uh, show on the line? <laughs> well, you know, it's, uh, he, he's not a very uh, easy horse. He likes everything to just work out. And, uh, you know, at the gate, always is sluggish, and uh, you have to try and make it up. But uh, one thing that we found out, he, he, he likes to run at them instead of him hitting the front early and obviously, yeah. you know, them coming to him. Uh, uh, I think that happened twice and uh, he was, uh, he came second best, but uh, I think the last run, obviously, uh, the 1200, he came out sluggish and uh, I tried to to get him as close as possible, but I think I did the wrong thing. So uh, the time around, holding them together and luckily I had a horse to follow, uh, Gunsmoke, and I thought uh, there was a horse that could pull me through. As long as it's going well on the inside, yeah. I can just try my best to uh, go as well as like as, as him and uh, once I saw uh, there wasn't enough gap for him to get through but uh, he chose to go out and uh, I stuck to my st stations and this guy uh, he saw the gap and you could see he, it was a different horse yeah. and uh, uh, I was a little bit worried the, uh, the 1400 but uh, I definitely think uh, uh, he's just up his early uh, to tell Mr. Smith to just work at the gate so we can have uh, our heart at ease but uh, well done to uh, the bar Pana family, Faisal, uh, Soli, and also well done to Trevor and uh, Moodley, and also to uh, the syndicate. Uh, it's always nice having a horse like this, which runs on a poly and grass, yeah. and uh, you know, we should pick up a couple of, of winners. And uh, yeah, Smith Racing Team, thanks for all the support. And uh, my sponsors, Morris Fontaine, Vokobos Drift, well done. And uh, to all sport for looking after the grooms. Uh, Bling fans. Whoop, whoop.
There you go. I've got to say, a really, really smart ride from Smunga there. Um, this horse has definitely got the ability, but he likes to be ridden a certain way, and Smunga has pulled that off very well this afternoon. And um, Gavyar, he's done well for you. You pointed out in the preview chat on Wednesday that you really feel he was unlucky last time out, and when you see him run a race like this, I've got to agree with you. I thought that was a brilliant ride from Smunga. It was. Nice. You know, when they win, it's always a brilliant ride, but um, he, he could have run second or third, but we to take our medicine because he's a type of horse that you can't rush him to get yes. there. Um, the, the one run prior that, that, that he ran in, he sort of got there and he was idling when he got to the front, you know. But when he won his maidens, he came from behind, got there to death. That's just the way he likes to ride. And fortunately, um, the way he likes to run is going to give people a heart attack. But, uh, <laughs> I know. Yeah, Tell but, Neil. <laughs> I mean, 200 to go, he's still got five lengths to find. I mean, it was a, it was a win yeah. full of merit. And he's a lovely, lovely yeah. horse. I got it on that note. Thanks, Sterling. <laughs> Sterling and Mark, our friends, uh, once again for the support because you know, they sent us a nice horse. And uh, to all the partners who got involved, well done to the guys. He's not going to stop here. He's a good, clean sound horse. He's just enjoying the racing yeah. down here and the way that we're riding him. And, uh, you know, the pace is always on. And, and he's gotta, you've got to have pace to be able to come from mm. that far back. Now, if you haven't got the pace, you're not going to be able to run races like it. Now, Samanga is a jockey that knows him really well, having now ridden him three times and won him twice. And I was quite surprised to hear him say that he was worried about the 14. When I opened the card, I went, Ooh, Ooh, I think he's going to love the 14, but it just shows you how we're all so different. And do you think the 14 in that respect is his max? I just was so excited to see him around the bend on the turf with a long run in because he takes so long I, to get going. I'm on the same page with you. I thought he would love the 14 yeah. um, with a long run in, and you can give him a chance and run it. Then, those, um, I, 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 I personally believe on his work back home, a mile's within his grasp, and especially the way he ran now, yeah. ran through to the line. If you can ride him the same sedate type of way, um, I think we will get him off. You know, I won't, I won't push him any further yeah. than that at this stage. Well, that's today. That's t tomorrow's worry. Today you get to celebrate the win. Well done. Yeah, we'll take it. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks to my sponsors, Hollywood. Just very well done to the partners. Fantastic. Great win there from Ubisika. I know Smanga kept us hanging on the edge of our seats because we did believe that he... It, he had the ability to win this, but it was the perfect ride at the end of the day. Well done to the Connections, and Ubisika will win the first leg of the pick six this afternoon.